Hey guys, um, it's Jen Party, and I just wanted to make a short video today to invite you to read a book with me. Um, and that book is Cosmos and Psyche by Richard Tarnas. Now, this is, I think to some people, and it has been to me, a little bit of an intimidating book. Um, it's about 500 pages, and it's kind of an epic work that was released about 16 years ago, a couple years before I started learning and becoming involved with astrology. And essentially, um, it talks about how we need to approach astrology in order to find it relevant in our life and time. And basically, a lot of what Tarnas talks about in this book, my understanding um, thus far, is how hundreds of years ago we underwent a, a bit of a mindset shift. And I think this was at the time of the Copernican Revolution. And essentially, we started detaching ourselves from the world, taking a more rational mindset, um, experimenting, uh, using the scientific method. We began approaching the world as though it was something divorced from us, something that we could test and measure and experiment on. And this has been very useful in many ways. It has led to many technological advances but it has also led to a loss of meaning in a way. And we live in a deeply archetypal universe and astrology is the language of archetypes and of cycles, how the archetypes come and go, how they speak to each other, how they show up in our lives, how they affect our culture. we need to hmm, almost become re-enchanted and reacquainted with the mindset that existed several thousands year, of years ago when astrology and archetypes first came into being in ancient Greek culture. Um, so what Tarnas does in this book is he first talks about this mindset <laughs> mindset shift that we need to make in order to begin dialoguing with the universe in an open and intelligent way. And then he talks about the different kinds of cycles in astrology that have impacted our culture um, very deeply in terms of key figures and key times. Um, cultural shifts, revolutions, ideas that came to the forefront that shaped some of our major thinkers over the last hundreds and thousands of years. I believe this is the kind of thing he talks about in this book, um, especially in the cycles of the social and outer planets like Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. Now, one thing I did not realize when I decided a week or two ago that I wanted to read this book with a friend and develop a reading group around it is that apparently there is a new docu-series coming out um, and it is based on Richard Tarnas's work. And um, the name is escaping me right now, but I think it's called The Change of the Gods. Anyway, I will mention it in the description box. But it seems like a beautiful time after Uranus just went direct a few weeks ago um, to reconnect with astrology, reconnect with each other, reconnect with Tarnas's work, <laughs> and um, prepare for this docu-series that is coming out, and really dig in to understanding the archetypes of the universe um, that are evident in astrology and that really are relevant both on an interior level, that's the psyche, and on an exterior or more cosmic level, um, and in between on a cultural level. Um, 
So if you are interested in reading this book with me and a couple of my friends, let me know. Um, I'm recording this as of, I believe it's February 4th. So especially if you see this video or decide you would like to join us in February, that would be especially relevant um, because the docuseries is coming out on February 22nd. I do remember that. <laughs> and also we're going to start reading uh, likely next week and try to meet up every couple of weeks in order to discuss what we're reading in this book. Um, and by meet up, I mean on on Zoom most likely. I've also started a Discord channel um, where we can just have a little chat as we go along and share our thoughts and experiences that seem relevant to the book and to our astrological learning. So if you want to join my uh, little book club reading Cosmos and Psyche, um, you can comment below. Um, but probably the best way to reach me is to either send me a message on Facebook, just look up Jennifer Party on Facebook, or email me at jennifer.parde at gmail.com. And I'll put that in this in the description as well. Um, so let me know if you are interested in reading Cosmos and Psyche. And even if you don't see this until later, um, and you miss the conversation, do look it up. There's a lot to learn here. And I'm excited to dig in. I've read um, a little bit of the book, but um, I'm excited to re-engage and really go deeper. Um, astrology is a huge part of my life and practice and work, and I hope to share this with you. So I hope to see you guys again soon. Reach out if you would like to read with me, and um, I'll probably post an update in a couple months, if not before, uh, talking about the book and perhaps about the docuseries if I get to watch that. So take care and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.